y'all. So, Jamel Charlo will be fighting Canelo Alvarez coming September 30th, which is a huge fight for Jamel Charlo. A very big step up fight. A uh, very interesting fight to say the least. And, you know, if he can pull it off, that's really big for Jamel Charlo. Now, I was watching my homeboy Tough Glove Boxing, uh, his video earlier today. Shout out to Tough Glove, man. Y'all go subscribe to the bro Tough Glove Boxing in the house, you heard? BX stand up. But um, very interesting topic on his video. Uh, who will, will Jamel, if Jamel Charlo was to beat Canelo Alvarez, does he topple Terrence Crawford? Uh, as as you know, being pound for pound, does he leap over Terrence Crawford? You know, by defeating Canelo Alvarez. So today, I was looking through Jamel Charlo and Terrence Crawford's their resume, and, you know, some wins and stuff like that. So I'm going to come up with the conclusion on would uh, he one up. Jamel Charlo will Jamel Charlo one up Terrence Crawford if he was to beat Canelo also though if Terrence Crawford was to ever beat if he was to beat Canelo would that be you know a big deal as well and I'm gonna kind of like touch on both things so let's let's get into it First, let's start with Jamel Charlo, man. Uh, Jamel Charlo's record is uh, 35 wins, one loss, and one draw, okay? World champions that Jamel Charlo has fought and took their belts, okay? So, you know, that's what I'm going by. And when I mean belts, I'm going by any belt that any of these guys had rather it's a belt that's not really recognized nonetheless it's still a belt so i'm going to include it in this comparison all right so jamel charlo he has fought uh four champions in his division uh first uh one of them was demetrius hopkins he had this belt that wasn't really a known belt it was the um it was called uh the IBF USBA Super Welterweight title. Not not recognized or nothing, but nonetheless, it's a strap. Then he fought Tony Harrison to get his belt back. Uh, the WBC belt that Ho Tony Harrison took from him. He got that belt back. He fought for the WBC against John Jackson. It was a vacant title, so it doesn't really count as him fighting the champion. Okay, so... Demetrius Hopkins, Tony Harrison, uh, then he fought Jason Rosario to take the IBF and WBA straps, and then he fought Brian Castaño, uh to to uh, twice. First was a draw, second fight he took the WBO belt, and then Jamel Charlo became the first in the four belt ever to become undisputed at junior middleweight. So he made history. Also, also Jamel Charlo uh, won six belts in the division, so to speak. He technically won a WBC two times, so he was a two-time WBC champ. So he won it twice. One when it was vacant, and then he won it again against Tony Harrison, all right? Also, he picked up the WBO, WBA, the IBF, and the Ring Magazine belt, so... Jamel Charlo has held, uh, he has six belts, six accolades down there at 154 pounds. And fought four champions. Now let's get into Terrence Crawford. Uh, Terrence Crawford, he is, uh, his record, you know, it stands at 40 and no, no losses, man. You know, he had, uh, he added Errol Spence to the body bag list. You know what it is. Um, but Terrence Crawford, he has fought 
five world five world champions and took their straps right so it started for him down at 135 pounds so first first person he beat with a belt is ricky burns took his strap and then next he moves up to 140 pounds he beats uh victor postal and julius and dango and that makes three that's three champions world champions and then he moves up to welterweight he beats jeff horn and errol spence jr so terence crawford has beaten and took belts for five champions okay so that's five champions compared to uh jamel charles four champions and Terrence Crawford's record, uh, he fought in three divisions. Ju uh, lightweight, junior welterweight, and welterweight. And uh, he's he has pretty much 12 accolades, all right? At 135, he had the WBO and the Ring Magazine. At 140, he had WBO, WBA, WBC, IBF, and the Ring Magazine. And then at welterweight... He had the uh, WBO, WBA, WBC, IBF, and Ring Magazine. Same thing like the, at uh, 140. So that's 12 accolades. So <clears throat> to compare both, uh, Terrence Crawford has fought five world champions. Jamel Charlo has fought four. And like I said, I put all, I lumped all of the belts together. Rather, it's a regular belt. Uh, a super a continental whatever I just decided to slap them all in there so Bud has won fought more world champions than Charlo uh, fought in more divisions and has held more belts Charlo's held 6 to Bud's 12 and Charlie only fought in one weight class compared to Bud's 3 so if Jamel Charlo was to beat Canelo Alvarez, would that put him over uh, Terrence Crawford? If Terrence Crawford would have did the same thing, like who would who would be on top of who? Well, when you think about it, Canelo, uh, he he's a multi-division champion. He's the first champion at 168. Okay, I believe that's I believe overall he's the first undisputed champion at 168. I'm not sure if it's in the four belt era or just overall he's the first 168, 168 pounds um, undisputed champion. So these dudes all made history respectfully in their in their weight classes, which is incredible for all of these dudes, all three of them. Okay. So. Canelo has two losses on his record to Bevel and to Mayweather. Okay, he never been knocked out. He's the he's the man right now. Canelo is, Canelo is the face for boxing, if you ask me, right now. Terrence Crawford, though, I would have to say he has accomplished what none of the other dudes has accomplished, man. So that has to count for something as well. Okay. Um, but when you think about it, um, he has two, he's undisputed in two weight classes. The first to ever do that as a man, Jamel, he's the first to ever be undisputed at 154 at the four belt era, you know? So, you know, they both have their own little, like I've done this and you haven't thing, you know, but Terrence Crawford, he's done it. It doesn't matter what weight class it is. He's been undisputed twice. Okay. So that, that's big. Now, if Bud was to, if, if Charlo was to beat Canelo, uh, would that mean he's more, he's, he's, he's pound for pound better than um, Terrence Crawford? Now, I had to sit down and I had to really think about it. I had to really think about that. And when you think about it, man, Charlo, he lost his belt, got it back. I like shit like that. He lost his belt, fought to get his belt back, took it back. Then he's moving up two weight classes to fight 
the man, the, the, the face of boxing. That's that's dangerous and it's risky. Okay? That's dangerous and it's risky. If he pulls that off, that's big. If Terrence Crawford uh, was to go up uh, from 147 to 168 pounds to fight Canelo Alvarez and beat him and take his belts, that's big. That's really big. So, my conclusion, if any, if, if out of Terrence Crawford and Jamel Charlo, if any of these dudes was to beat Canelo, uh, if Terrence Crawford did it, he would be pound for pound over a Jamel Charlo for sure. Absolutely, hands down. Okay. Now we're just speaking right now in terms of reality. If because Jamel is the one that's actually fighting Canelo right now. So Jamel actually beats Canelo, and especially if he knocks him out, would that put him pound for pound over Terrence Crawford? In my opinion, yes. I think it does. So you talking in those terms? Definitely, Jamel Charlo would be pound for pound over Canelo. If Terence Crawford was the one to get the fight over Jamel and beat Canelo, he would definitely be pound for pound over Jamel Charlo. So I think you got to look at it as far as who got to jump on the fight first, and obviously Jamel Charlo. All right. So we'll see. Now if Jamel Charlo loses. And then the winner uh, of Charlo and Canelo, which will be Canelo, actually does fight Crawford. And Crawford goes up and wins against uh, Canelo. That's that's even bigger for Terrence Crawford, being that he's in a smaller weight class. So that's much more of an accomplishment, especially uh, coming from a, a, a weight class below to move up to fight a bigger dude up at 168. Yeah. So right now, though, Jamel Charlo would be the pound for pound king. We'll see how it all plays out. It's your boy Red with Life Boxing. Let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment. I'll catch y'all later.